Terra Luna Classic's price continues to crash. This is a multitude of different factors. The main one being Do Kwon, the founder of Terra Luna Classic, has had his warrant issued for his arrest. This is coming after the massive clap around Do, around Do Kwon and his ownership and leadership with Terra Luna Classic. This is only one factor affecting why Terra Luna Classic's price is absolutely hemorrhaging and has lost over a billion dollars of market cap in the last seven days. So, going into the story, if you enjoy these type of videos, please like, comment, and subscribe because I'll try and bring them out as fast as possible so you know what is going on in the market. But what is happening is the authorities, South Korean authorities, have found that Do Kwon um, has got some art, has got to answer for his issue and implications around the UST stablecoin um, after it collapsed and lost around forty billion dollars worth of value. So this is happening. Um, alongside this, is exposed a lot of the rest of the crypto industry, as uh, for example, Three Arrows Capital. That's another big hedge fund collapsed, and they were very um, involved in the whole crypto sphere. Alongside this, a lot of other um, big coins have been affected and this um, a lot of people are saying is why crypto is doing as bad as what it is is down to a lot of trust has been lost due to the failure of this coin but at the moment as you can see it is completely destroyed Terra Luna Classic's price in the last couple of days we have to keep in mind it's not the only factor also CPI readings came out yesterday on the 13th of September and they were a lot higher than what was expected um, the market was looking for uh, roughly around an, an 8.1 reading on inflation, but instead we actually got um, an 8.3. So eventually it meant that inflation actually went up and we're trying to see um, with the wider market inflation actually dropping. So this is another factor that this isn't, this isn't just associated with Terra Luna Classic. Every other market got affected by this because what we're seeing is just um cryptocurrencies as a whole are being affected um and the wider market due to just fears of inflation going on longer and longer and that's not getting back to a normal level for that so that is the main factor around it obviously also the arrest with doke one's the big factor because people aren't disassociating terra luna classic with um doke one they're seeing it as the same thing when people know if you're actually in the sphere that it's completely disassociated and there's nothing really that Doquan has to do with the project anymore. Um, is TFL do have some involvement, but it's mainly the Terror Rebels and the community as a whole. So we do have to keep that as a consideration and think about what could happen in the future. We also need to take another consideration that we are pushing forward with proposals. We have the burn coming on the 20th of September alongside um, projects being rolled out, which I'm going to update you with later on today. Um, there's a lot of good factors, so this is maybe a short-term bump, but let's look for the 20th of September. Hopefully, we have some conclusions around this and people start to disassociate Doquan from Terra Luna Classic. Hopefully, they do. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Please like, comment, subscribe to this video. Check out my TikTok and Twitter, and I'll catch you in the next one.